All right, hey y'all, this is Southern Woods here, and I am starting a huge culture war in the US. Yeah, you heard me right. So what I did here is I went online and searched up probably the three most prominent cultural geography maps of the US, and I kind of just blended it all together until it was uh, something of my own. So there's 33 different cultures, or in this case nations, ruling over the US, and we're gonna simulate until one culture takes over the whole country. So just briefly, I'm gonna go over um, these different cultures for you. Since uh, you know, may not be familiar and you may be interested in which cultures are which and what they encompass. So in middle to southern Florida, we have Florida. And then we have central Florida. Um, then we have the Gulf Coast region, well, no, nowhere else in the Gulf Coast. <laughs> and then we have this place called uh, Acadiana, which is basically southeastern Texas and southern Louisiana. Then Texas is its own culture, um, but it's a lot smaller than the actual state. Then we have the Rio Grande culture in southern Texas Peninsula. We have the Southwest, a very large cultural region uh, accompanying most of Arizona, West Texas. Uh, and then in this dirty lemon looking color in Southern California, we have California as its own culture. We have the dry valley culture in the you know desert valley region, um, the high deserts around California and Nevada. We have the Cali Bay culture over here, which is around San Francisco Bay, middle California. We have the state of Jefferson or the culture of Jefferson in this case. And the northern third of California, we have uh, Western Oregon and Washington making Cascadia, and then the Eastern Washington and Oregon making Columbia. We have the Great Basin, which is a lot of Nevada. And then we have here the Rocky Mountain cultural region, which uh, one of the bigger ones going along with the Northern Great Plains and the Southern Great Plains. Uh, moving eastward, we have the Upper Midlands, the North Woods, the Lower Midlands, and we have the Ozarks right here in this uh, light pink, which is around the Ozark region, Arkansas. Um, we have the Deep South, accompanying most of you know Middle Mississippi, Alabama, uh, most of Georgia, a little bit of South Carolina. We have the Upper South, which is largely Kentucky and some of Tennessee, Ohio River Valley, the Great Lakes region. We have Southern Appalachia, uh, Low Country, which is kind of this Gulf of and coast of Georgia and South Carolina. We have the Mid-Atlantic Tidewater right here in this uh, dark pink. The Chesapeake Bay region, Middle Appalachia Yankeedom, the New York City Metro, Upstate Yankeedom, and New England. So these are all the different cultures. Let me know right before we begin, which one are you voting for? Which area do you fall under? And anything else you want to tell me. So we're gonna get this game started right now. Of course, a lot going on at first will be the race for control of the Gulf of Mexico. We have our first uh, alliance between New York City Metro and Upstate Yankeedom. That's, uh, that makes sense. We have our first battle between the Upper Midlands and the North Woods. The Upper Midlands uh, pushing far into them. They may knock them out right away. Yes, the North Woods are the first to fall uh, by the Upper Midlands. All right, the Ozarks are uh, shrinking from the lower Midlands. Uh, Middle Appalachia Yankeedom being tackled by uh, the Chesapeake region and the Great Lakes region. They may fall any second. They do, they are the second to fall. All right, everything's kind of peaceful at this moment. Just uh, some treaties uh, happening. Now we have the Mid-Atlantic Tidewater going against the Deep South, pushing into South Carolina. We have some uh, wars up here, Dry Valley, California. All right, the Deep South is now pushing into the Mid-Atlantic Tidewater. Did someone else fall? Yes, the Dry Valley uh, was just destroyed by California, so now California has absorbed them. Uh, we're in the year 57. Mid-Atlantic Tidewater dangerously close to falling which they do to the Deep South. Now the Deep South is a very long um, stretch of territory. 
Great Basin going to war with the Rocky Mountains. That's probably a tough uh, area to get. Meanwhile, the Ozarks were just conquered by the Lower Midlands. We now have 28 cultures left. Um, we're in the year 69. Very nice uh, spot to see what's going on. All right, so uh, let's look at the alliance map. We have uh, the state of Jefferson and the Cali Bay region teaming up. Kind of unlikely in real life. Rocky Mountains paired with the Southern Great Plains, so probably the biggest alliance right now. We have the Deep South with the Ohio River Valley, Southern Appalachia with the Low Country, Lower Midlands and Upper South together, and then we have Upstate Yankeedom, um, Great Lakes, and then Chesapeake and New York City Metro. That's kind of how the alliances are looking right now. Look at statistics. The largest nation or culture is the Southern Great Plains, followed by Rocky Mountasia and uh, the Southwest. Um, looking at economy the deep south is the richest currently followed by southern great plains and rocky mount asia and then the biggest alliance being the treaty of the southern great plains all right let's continue we have the rio grande fighting the southwest southwest pushing into uh western rio grande moving in rapidly we have a big war here in the southeast between multiple nations big stalemate big stalemate ohio river valley i think getting some of that as well uh, Cali Bay been fighting against actual California for a second. Now they're fighting a multiple front war between the Southwest. Cascadia, Columbia going at it now. California may fall. They do. California was conquered by Cali Bay. They're going to get most of that. The Southwest gets a little bigger too. Texas pushing into the Southern Great Plains, getting some land. Now we have Columbia fighting a battle against Rocky Mount Asia. Um, if Cascadia can get on that, they will fall for sure. Speaking of falling, Texas just conquered by the Southwest. I didn't even see that happen, but that happened quickly. Deep South going to get some of that territory. Speaking of, they're getting pushed out by Southern Appalachia, who's getting huge. They can change to their capital, though, if they need to. So a little bit of border gore going on. Deep South does has this land here in what Virginia, North Carolina area. Um, now Southern Appalachia going to push into the Gulf Coast, which they will take care of. So the Gulf Coast probably going to get taken over mainly by the Deep South and Southern Appalachia. Arcadia or Acadiana, my bad, just took out the Deep South. So the Deep South is gone. Um, Central Florida struggling to ward off the Southern Appalachia and the Low Country. Somehow Columbia up here is still alive. They've been fighting different fronts. It, what really needs to happen is Cascadia and Rocky Mount Asia need to fight them at once. Meanwhile, um, who just fell? New England was conquered by the New York City Metro. They're in a race against Upstate Yankee Nome to get that territory. They will probably split it right down the middle, but both becoming much larger. Jefferson, just conquered by Cascadia. Um, didn't Don't know how I missed that either. I was so caught up in the Northeast. But now Cascadia got a lot of Northern California territory um, in our actual geography. Cali Bay, though, kind of big. We have 22 nations left. The year is 213. We now have the Great Basin going against Cascadia. Cascadia going against Columbia, who is somehow still alive. Very impressed with how they're holding on. Uh, Acadiana just collapsed to uh, the southwest. Southern Appalachia is going to get a lot of that. So now the year is nearly 300. We have 21 nations left. I think it's a good time to pause. Let's look at the alliance map here. We have this big funky coastal alliance between the southwest which is now pretty huge cali bay and cascadia um the great basin is in an alliance with this um part of the country which is part of lower midlands ohio river valley in the upper south we have a big alliance here in the great plain rocky mount asia the northeast is mainly unified and the southeast for the most part unified but central florida and florida of course unified as well uh, and then, yeah, the Rio Grande, not alone either. They're part of this big, broken-up alliance. 
looking at the statistics here, the Southwest is the largest nation, followed by Southern Great Plains and Rocky Mount Asia. Um, talking about economy, Southern Great Plains is the richest, followed by Rocky Mount Asia and the Southwest. And the biggest alliance being the Treaty of Southern Great Plains still. Florida Coalition looking small, but at least they have each other, both of the Floridas. All right, we're going to resume right now. And right once we resumed, uh, looks like Columbia just fell. And the Great Basin culture and region pushing into the Rocky Mountains a little bit. Central Florida fighting a two-pronged war against the Low Country and Southern Appalachia, who is moving into the Deep South very rapidly. Rio Grande about to fall. They just do the Southwest, getting even more land, um, getting most of uh, Southern Texas. Upper South pushing back Southern Appalachia with the help of the Ohio River Valley. Meanwhile, Southern Great Plains going against the Lower Midlands and Upper South, it looks like. There's only 19 cultures left. Which culture will take over the U.S.? A lot of battles roaring on. There has been a contentious battle between the Great Lakes and Upper Midlands. And it looks like the Upper Midlands is finally getting the upper hand with the help of Southern Appalachia, who is starting to look fairly formidable, getting uh, nearly all the Appalachian Mountains south of uh, New York. All right, Rocky Mountasia fighting a three-pronged war. Luckily, they have the Rocky Mountains on their side. It'll be difficult to get to their capital. Meanwhile, Low Country just conquered by Central Florida, but it looks like Southern Appalachia is going to get most of that. Wow, uh, the Lower Midlands just fell to, or the Upper Midlands just destroyed the Lower Midlands, yes. Um, so the Upper Midlands looking pretty big themselves. We have a lot of wars waging on. The Southwest trying to push into the Upper South. Southern Appalachia has this funky border going on. Um, Great Lakes just retook some of their land. Chesapeake region pushing into southern Appalachia, shrinking their land a good bit as well. There's a little bit of border gore going on in the eastern side of the U.S. We're in the year 520, 17 nations left. Central Florida and Florida teaming up still. All right, we have the upper Midlands going into the Ohio River Valley, but being repelled very quickly. Wow. Wow. This has just been an expanding and collapsing war zone. But now the Ohio River Valley expanded or pushed back too quickly and fell to the Great Lakes region. Who's going to get a lot of that? Great Lakes region now looking somewhat formidable. The Upper South struggling against the Southwest. So the Southwest has been very strong this whole game. Upper South needing help from up uh, Southern Appalachia to push them out, but it was not enough. So the Southwest just took over the Upper South. Southern Appalachia struggling to get that uh, as well. They had to move their um, capital to around what Mobile. Great Lakes region expanding outward. Wow, Great Lakes pushing deep south. Southern Appalachia is in trouble. They may be the next to fall. They have a little bit in uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains, but most of their land has been... Um, Resort to southern Alabama. Yeah, they fell. Now central Florida gets some of that southern Alabama territory. Um, central Florida and Florida still uniting. They're making some headway in the Gulf of Mexico in a big naval battle. Pushing along the Gulf Coast. Now the southwest being pushed out by Chesapeake, Great Lakes, and central Florida all together. Trying to get them out of the south. Meanwhile, the Rocky Mountains... Um, being fought over and the upper Midlands starting to shrink as the Great Lakes start to uh, rise. We have 14 nations left. The year is 782. Just looking at the alliance map again. Most of the western U.S. is united. Uh, middle U.S. united. Eastern U.S. united. And New England united. So we have basically four big alliances 
going on, uh, looking at the specific uh, statistics, the largest being the Southwest, Southern Great Plains, and Great Lakes, the richest uh, cultures or nations, Southern Great Plains by a good bit, Southwest, and then Chesapeake. We'll see what ends up happening. 14 nations left, 14 cultures left. The Northeast combined, uh, trying to battle the Great Lakes and Chesapeake. It backfired. New York City Metro fallen. Now it's all up to the upstate Yankeedom to uh, unite the Northeast by themselves without the New York City Metro. Big war along the Mississippi region, middle, northern Mississippi. Going two and a half speed now. Southwest has a very tiny insurgency here in the southern Great Plains area or um, territory along the middle of the Mississippi. See how that does for them. Now they're pushing uh, Chesapeake and Central Florida back a little bit. Meanwhile, upstate Yankeedom takes that advantage, pushing and regaining the northeast New England. All right, they forced Chesapeake to finally relocate their capital for the first time. Wow. Southwest just pushed deep into uh, the Florida panhandle. Um, a lot is going on. Rocky Mountain Asia struggling to keep the Rocky Mountains theirs. Chesapeake and Central Florida pushed uh, the Southwest back a little bit more. Upstate Yankee them now. Uh, struggling to hold off Chesapeake once again. Chesapeake trying to uh, pretty much <laughs> take over all original 13 colonies. All right, with much help, the Southwest is being pushed back into almost Louisiana. Chesapeake and Central Florida have terrible border gore with each other, but they're, they're uh, friends for now. The Great Lakes region may fall. Who will take them out first? All right, upstate Yankeedom again. Big trouble. Chesapeake will push them deeper and deeper each time they go at them. All right, southwest. This time, real big push. Taking over a good bit of Georgia as well. But now they're fighting a two-pronged battle between the southern Great Plains and Rocky Mountasia. They may have exhausted too much of their resources pushing into the south. This southeast region has probably been one of the most contentious battlegrounds in this game alongside the Rocky Mountains, but it's hard to take over the Rocky Mountains. 13 nations left. Cascadia finally again pushed out of the Rockies. Rocky Mountasia reclaiming nearly all of the Rocky Mountains. Upstate Yankeedom pushing deep into Chesapeake territory. They are now small all of a sudden. Same with Rocky Mountasia. The tides of battle are changing. Central Florida and Florida now uh, not aligned anymore. Central Florida wants to be the only Florida culture, and they will. Central Florida now united all of Florida. Meanwhile, the Northern Great Plains was conquered by the Southern Great Plains, which is now massive. Upper Midlands had to move their capital to Michigan. Upstate Yankeedom once again pushing deep into the Chesapeake. Cascadia going against uh, Great Basin. Uh, Upper Midlands, man, they're looking a little weak now. Cali Bay now uh, being turned on by Cascadia. They're now in Southern California, their capital is at least. We have a lot of alliances falling apart is what I'm realizing, which is why there's so many different uh, war zones going on now. Rocky Mount Asia, big push into the Southern Great Plains. Great Basin attempting to push into the Southwest. Southwest had to change their capital to somewhere in Texas. Cascadia, Rocky Mount Asia teaming up against the Great Basin, but it's, is it working? It is now. Oh, now it's back and forth. It is back and forth. Southern Great Plains now facing a big battle between the Upper Midlands and Rocky Mount Asia. 
Central Florida trying to push into the southwest while they're distracted with the Great Lakes region. Meanwhile, Chesapeake was conquered, not by Upstate Yankee which they were battling with most of the time, but by the southwest. But Upstate Yankee Dome is going to get a lot of that. Great Basin now fell. Wow, everyone turned on the Great Basin all at once. The southwest reclaiming a lot of that former territory they had. Great Lakes region struggling. They just got taken out by Upstate Yankeedom. And that's going to be a pretty good split between these four cultures slash nations. Cali Bay now pretty small. The smallest nation left. We have eight left. Central Florida, though, all of a sudden. Oh, Orlando almost fell. With the help of Upstate Yankeedom, they're able to push the southwest a little bit. Take some of that southern coast. A lot is happening. Hard to keep up with. Um, Upper Midlands has been switching these capitals like every 50 years or so. They're aiding the Cascadia, hoping they can take out some of the Southwest and Cali Bay. We have eight nations left. The year is 1919. Checking out the Alliance map. Yeah, it is basically the North versus the South, and then Central Florida is by themselves. But culturally very different. The South is uh, culturally very southwestern and southern Great Plains. Meanwhile, the North is uh, very influenced by uh, upstate Yankeedom and Rocky Mountasia mainly. Now, looking at the statistics, Southwest is by far the largest, uh, followed by the southern Great Plains. Cali Bay, again, the smallest. Talking about economy, Southwest, huge economy. Cali Bay, Upper Midlands, Cascadia. It's going to be hard for them to do anything um, with that economy. So we'll see how this plays out. I feel like uh, definite results are going to happen very soon. All right, we have Central Florida pushing against the Southwest. But the Southwest, again, very strong economy. It's just where they will allocate their resources that will determine the tide of this uh, simulation. Cali Bay, very small very, very small. Meanwhile, Upper Midlands conquered by the Southwest. They're going to get a lot of that and pushing Upstate Yankeedom out in that race. Upstate Yankeedom fighting against Central Florida. It'd be wise for them to team up and may take out the Southwest. I don't know if that will happen. Meanwhile, Cali Bay was conquered a minute ago. They are no longer. There's six nations left. Southwest has been a strong force this whole time. Will they end up winning it all? Central Florida has lost South Carolina. They have lost most of Georgia. Rocky Mountasia making a deep push into the southern Great Plains. Central Florida... Now their capital is in Miami. That's about all they have left. Minus this very tiny pocket in like northeast Georgia or northwest Georgia. All right, the southwest trying to make a naval invasion in central Florida. Meanwhile, upstate Yankee them pushing from the north. And it looks like upstate Yankee them will take over central Florida. But with the southwest and that naval invasion, they do have the southern tip of Florida. Only five nations left. Cascadia in the northwest, Rocky Mountasia, the southwest culture, southern Great Plains, and upstate Yankeedom. Who will end up taking it all? Southwest pushing deep into upstate Yankeedom. They are now pretty much only in um, New England territory. As you can see, Southwest is the biggest economy. That's why, and you know, the most land. I don't know if anyone can stand a chance against them. They're just slowly taking over upstate Yankeedom. Rocky Mountasia trying to push them out of the southern Rockies. Oh, we have our first uh, unification. Cascadia was absorbed by Rocky Mountasia. Now, Rocky Mountasia, quite a bit bigger. Let's see if that helps their economy and their uh, forces. 
All right, whoa. Now we have the Southern Great Plains being absorbed by the Southwest. So all of a sudden, uh, it's probably looking grim between upstate Yankeedom and Rocky Mount Asia. Yeah, Rocky Mount Asia slowly starting to fall. Upstate Yankeedom dangerously close. Rocky Mount Asia said, screw it, we're uniting into the Southwest. Upstate Yankeedom either is going to unite or fall. They decide to unite. There you have it, folks. The Southwestern culture is now the only culture in the United States. They have taken over. What did y'all think? Um, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more of this game, Ages of Conflict, let me know. I have so many ideas to do for it. Um, and the first video was received pretty well, so hopefully this one is as well. Um, let me know. Hit me with that like button if you want to see more of this or any other uh, outdoor videos, food reviews, hit that subscribe button and join the Southern Woods community. Without further ado, y'all, Southern Woods out.